Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick little disclaimer here before the episode starts. You might notice that the audio on this seems a little weird. Uh, the game audio, I was a, a dum-dum and plugged my headphones directly into the Switch for some reason halfway through recording this video, so the audio drops out. So, it's only for this one episode, so, and, and really it's it's mostly just me talking, there's really no game audio that's super influential, so I went ahead and just kept the episode and put the 1am music over it. Um, so you might notice that, like, the villagers, when they talk, don't have sounds, and, like, the fishing doesn't have sounds, so I apologize about that, but it will be fixed for the next episode, not even the next set of episodes, for literally the very next one. Uh, so thank you for bearing with me, and enjoy some late night Animal Crossing. Thank you. Alright, everybody, welcome back to EKG. We're back here with more Animal Crossing, little chill vibes here at night. Here at 1.46 a.m. is what my Nook phone tells me it is, uh, because I play this game at ridiculous hours, so... You got one morning episode out of me. Actually, three of them, so <laughs> be grateful for those. Uh, but yeah, so I, I am Paul. I am neither of the two people in the intro of this video, but you'll get over it. <laughs> uh, I've been building some new stuff in my town since, since the last time I showed you. I, I mean, it, in a, a week span, I can do a lot in, in this fucking game, I'll tell you. Uh, Merengue is a villager. Uh, I think I showed you guys Merengue last time. She's asleep right now, but she's like the uh, creamsicle rhino. Uh, her thing is she's like a baker, so I made her like this little coffee shop outside of Nooks and made this shitty little sign, which was, it's a placeholder more than anything, because that is not a coffee cup of any kind I've ever seen. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but I got the espresso maker, I got the, uh, the fence I do like, and the wood floor, so I got the start of something here. I might eventually expand it backwards a little bit and make it more of like a full restaurant, maybe have it border the pond. Um, but for now I got the path going on here. CJ's chilling back here. I've been selling him fish all night. And ooh, look at that. We got ourselves an atlas moth. I got to be very careful, though. These things are easy to scare. Hopefully I have my net on me. I do. That would have been embarrassing. I'm about to get me an atlas moth. That's right. CJ's like, if only that were a fish. You could put it in the water and try to sell it to him. All right. So we're going to do a kind of like a little, almost like a, a short little retour of Isle Isle, just to show you the things that have changed, because, I mean, like I said, in a week I can I can do a lot in this game. So we have Marenghi's house here. I did actually move Canberra's house up here and actually built her this little, I figured she's a koala, right? So I have her closer to the bamboo and give her some bamboo trees of her own to, to munch on. I figured she'd appreciate it. I haven't seen her sitting in this rocking chair yet, but I'm waiting for the day that she does, because that would be amazing. Is she asleep? Oh, she's out for a bit. Yeah, that's what I mentioned it. I like Canberra because she's has my hours. She's the only person I'll see in this game at like 3 a.m., which is nice. Ooh, there's a little spoiler down there. We'll, we'll see what that's all about in a minute. Don't pay too much attention to that. Uh, we're going to go back up by my house a little bit here. And uh, up here is, uh, this is what I've done with the place. It's slightly different than the last time we saw it. Because I, I had it all covered in stone before, which, I'll be honest, it, it did not look good. N none of you helped me out either. None of you told me how bad it looked. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I got there on my own, though. Uh, now I have this nice little uh, rose garden going with these crossbreeds. That is actually a purple growing right there. Ooh, that actually wasn't there before. Interesting. So I already have more purples growing. And I will show you guys what uh, what's new with my house. I have the whole basement and the whole upstairs now. This room is more or less the same. I think it's maybe a little bit different than when you guys saw it, but I, I like having this as like the entry hall. I might put more furniture in here. I'll, I mean, I'll probably change it up a, a little bit, but this is more or less going to be the minimal kind of room. Uh, the room on the the top has not changed at all. Uh, the only difference now is that it's actually uh, filled with turnips. I bought, uh, I think, a clean 300k with turnips this month or this week, and it's uh, too much for even my vault. I might have to like, if I'm gonna expand the vault, maybe do a different room, maybe put it in like the upstairs. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, it's starting to become a problem. I'm glad I didn't go back for more because I don't know where I would have even put them. And uh, continuing the tour here. I did add a new room on the left here, because you'll see I actually moved my bedroom that I had going on here. This is like the start of a bathroom that I'm making. Uh, I got the fan to like blow out the foul smells. A uh, nice little washing area here. I need a better sink, because this is like a utility sink for like doctors. Uh, and then this is a cool little thing I thought I built. I got the, the shower head here, so I, I can maybe come up with a better flooring idea, but I got the start of something here, I think. Like a little shower there. 
Um, I haven't unlocked the bath yet, so that's going to have to work for me. The room on the right, I'm not even really going to show you guys. It's basically just a workshop room because I haven't built anything yet. So I just have a bunch of workbenches and like tool boxes and whatnot in there. So I do go in there to craft things. But Up here is my new bedroom. This is what I'm making. Kind of like an expanded version of what I had going on downstairs if you saw the early episodes. Instead of the Pounce painting, I now have Hellboy by uh, Alex Maleev. That is his artwork, not my own. <laughs> but I thought the uh, the simplistic Hellboy artwork kind of transitions well to the uh, the pixel art, which I, I you know that's kind of that works out pretty well. I think that translates. Um, and then I have like the the painting set here, as if I did paint it, <laughs> just to take credit. I don't have the flat screen TV yet, which is bullshit. Even though I got a gold on my house, they sent everyone else I know a flat screen TV in the mail, and I did not get one. And I got this uh, poster of the Smash Bros. Amiibo villager. You get that if you use the Smash Bros. Amiibo. They get, Harv gives you a poster. It's not bad. And then I have one last room in here. It's not too much. It's like the start of something. I might, I might, we'll see what happens with it. I've got some other ideas for what to do with the basement, but for now, this looked like a good, kind of like a little pool room. Not bad. I haven't done too much with it, but I got another shower here for, with no drain, so please don't leave it on or my whole house will flood. But, yeah, not much. The pools are just easy to make look good, I think. Uh, but continuing on, there is actually one uh, important thing that I want to close out this episode showing you all. Um, there's something sad going on in the village soon. Ooh, I have mail. Oh, yeah, I think I, a good friend of mine, Jake, is sending me... Uh, we, we had an exchange. He's sending me the refrigerator, and I gave him some bamboo items and some money that he needed to make a bridge at the last minute. <laughs> so you can uh, have transa transactions with your friends. You can wheel and deal. That's what this game's all about. Pay, pay no attention to that egg, because that is still a spoiler. <laughs> I told you not to pay attention. Omit this. Isle Isle is more or less the same. Uh, Isle Isle hasn't changed much since you guys saw it last. This, this bridge was being built, I think, when you saw it last, so it's built now. Uh, pretty much the same. Oh, that could be a turtle. I gotta play it for the turtle. It's pro oh, that kind of looks like a bass, but I'm gonna play it. Behind me is like an orange orchard I got going. I'm kind of mo moving all my fruit trees to one location, so that way... I can know what trees are what when I'm trying to get my furniture. There we go. Quiet on set. Oh, I almost missed that one. Uh, yep, I called it. That's a bass. That's no turtle. Oh, and it broke my rod. I deserve that. All right, moving on. This is what I wanted to show you all. I have someone... Ooh, that I will take. These man face beetles, guys. Everyone sleeps on them. These are worth a thousand each. Grab these. Always grab these when you see them. Easy money. They spawn everywhere. This is... A, ooh, I think I got a challenge as well. That's right. Oh, that was going to be the man face one. That would have been clutch. So this is going to be my new villager. I got an interesting campsite villager. Uh, her name is Phoebe. She uh, is technically an ostrich, but her whole thing is based on a phoenix. So she has like a whole phoenix design. Look at this. This is badass. She's the only phoenix villager. And, like, I already have the dragon, so, like, I have two, like, mythical creature villagers now. And she's she's planning to move in tomorrow. So, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped for this. I'm, I'm glad to have a new villager coming in. From the back, she kind of looks like Big Bird, but that's all right. See ya, Phoebe. So, uh, that's kind of a little hint as to what I was building, that spoiler. We're about to go down there and take a look at it. So, Phoebe's moving in, and uh, it's, that does mean that someone had to be kicked out, so... <laughs> So I had to give the axe to someone in the town who you all met. Uh, I don't know how beloved he was. I'm very sorry if he's one of your favorites, but poor old Jacob over here. He's moving out. I started building up the house around him as soon as he started moving out. <laughs> so as soon as I kicked him out, I started building Phoebe, a house idea that I had. And now he's just in here moving out while he has to look out the window and watch me build this new house for Phoebe. So I'm sorry, Jacob. Jacob, you are a really nice guy, but... uh. I had to pick someone to go. And he's, he's happy about it. He's fine. He's doing great. He's even cleaning. What a good guy. And Jacob was just... He was a little bit boring. When, when, when I'm using the villagers, I like to try to think of, like, a theme that I can make for either, like, their yard or their, like, area around their house. Like, I gotta think of, like, something cool to do with it. 
or else I like just I get bored with the the idea. Like Jacob is just kind of like a nice guy who like likes bugs. Like I don't know what to do with that. Uh, and also I had a cooler bird now, and Jacques has, so I'm very sorry. Um, but this is what Phoebe's house is gonna be like. The Phoenix. This is this is uh, her Phoenix egg shrine that I made. This is where uh, when when she dies, this is where she will be reborn. The Phoenix egg. And then I have some. Those are gonna be purple crossbreed flowers. Uh, those are pretty rare, I believe. It took me a while to make, anyway. Uh, lonely old me. So, I kind of got her yard looking good. This, uh, this was pretty much nothing before, so I like how it's coming along. So, uh, this, this'll be the, the Bye Bye Jacob episode, because he's moving out, so, and it's 1am, so by three hours from this recording, he will be out of my town and gone for good, and Phoebe will be moved in, so. Bye Bye Jacob, we hardly knew thee. You made it onto the channel, so you've been immortalized on YouTube. Goodbye, my friend. It was so sad, because Bam, I saw Bam outside, like, literally sitting outside his house crying because Jacob was going to leave, and I felt so bad. I was like, I'm sorry. He's not a cool phoenix. I'm so sorry. Bam, I'm so... Bam is losing his mind, though. I think he might be actually insane. Because he is in his house with just a table and just uh, well, a single chair, and he always talks about working out. Uh, I think he's losing his mind, so I'm, I'm scared for Bam's health, but I'm going to try to save him. <laughs> uh, this is the gym. I have a, a pull-up bar and whatnot here. Uh, oh, you can't do anything with the pull-up bar, which is disappointing, but it is nice when you see Boone and Bam just out here sleeping. <laughs> Boone and Bam, the lifters. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be, uh, that'll be the episode here for the Animal Crossing. I, I'm going to try to do the next episode like early in the morning so that way we can get some other cool stuff maybe i'll have an episode uh, when we come back of um of phoebe's birthday phoebe's birthday is coming up pretty soon here on april 22nd uh so maybe i'll do an episode of that in the morning and kind of see what a villager birthday looks like uh but ooh, is that a star oh you bet it is oh a little wishing star here to close the episode I, I, oh there's another one Ooh, okay you know what i'm staying until this is over Ooh, that's two damn okay you know what this episode's extending because i can't miss these are they over? Ooh, I'm very fortunate. Thank you, everybody. I'm telling you, when I do the recording, the the stars are good luck. I definitely have more good stars. Yup, there's another one. I wish that Jacob would move out sooner and Phoebe would be here already. <laughs> That's my wish. I wish upon a star. <laughs> Ooh, I should wish over by the Phoenix Egg. See, the, the Bunny Day egg wasn't a complete waste. The Bunny Day event. I got this. This whole ties the whole theme together, so I'm grateful for this. Because this item kind of... You can use this for, like, a dragon egg idea, too. I had this idea originally for Draco, but it kind of... I feel like it worked better a little bit better here with the candles and whatnot. But you could use this idea for, like, a mythical dragon egg or, like, anything cool like that or, like, a nest of eggs. There's things to be done with this. It's, like, the one item I feel like I got something out of. I think that's the end of the stars. I got, I got like five there. That's pretty clutch. So thank you, everybody. Uh, join us next time, and maybe it'll be Phoebe's birthday. It'll be coming up soon anyway. Join us.